In Creel Parametric and Windchill, sometimes you can end up with something called ghost objects. That's when you're trying to check something into Windchill and some of your components have some missing external references. In that situation, you're going to get an error. Let's take a look at a situation. Here I have an assembly open. I have saved it into my workspace. If I go to my folder browser, we can go to workspace. You can see I have all these different new objects in here. And let's say I am going to check it in. One way that you can check in is directly from Creo Parametric. I usually don't do this, but let's take a look at it. I'll go to check in and then I will try custom check in to get it to publish my viewables on the client side. Then I will click the OK button. And it's working. It's trying to check in all the different objects as well as publish the different viewables for them. Let's give this a moment. All right, so all the viewables have been published. Here I have the different objects to check in. And if I go to the next button here, we have some additional options. I'm going to uncheck the option to undo the checkout of unmodified parts. Here we have auto associate parts to CAD documents. That will create my WT parts. There's an option here that I'm not going to check at this moment. This would solve everything, but I want to show you what happens when I don't have this option checked. I will click on the finish button. And in the lower part of the screen, you can see the swimming sharks as it is communicating with the server. Step one, uploading. We can see the progress bar. Okay, so we were on step two, and then I can see in the message area, the check-in failed. See the event manager console for details. The easy way to get to the event manager is from this little red sort of like warning sign in the bottom of the interface. Here we can see the different events lately and we can see that our check-in failed. We can click on the view conflicts. It'll open up a dialog box and it's giving me two different warnings. If you click on what looks like a hyperlink, it'll give you a description. It says it cannot check in the placeholder document and it's got something whatever and also this other one hey it cannot check in this placeholder document and so that placeholder those are actually the ghost objects let's cancel out of here and then close the event manager if i take a look in my workspace and then scroll through here there we can see here we have an object and it's got this little sort of like ripped piece of paper a ripped document next to it that's an indication that it's a ghost object and one reason people call ghost objects is that the little icon almost looks like a floating ghost and if i scroll in here there we can see the other ghost object the best thing that you can do in this situation is either find the missing models with the external references or break the external references. And so for breaking the external references, let me go back to my model tree. If you right click on the top node in the model tree, you can go to information reference viewer. And I can see that the top level assembly has a missing model. If I expand it, I can see that here we have the different missing references. And for missing reference, negative one it's got a whole bunch of other different objects in here if you right click you can choose display full path and it can give you this graph with a bunch of icons on what's missing stuff and i can actually see that it looks like only one part has external references in one feature so the best thing to do right now would be to go to that part and break the external references so for example i could go to this part i could open it up I could find the protrusion with the missing references. From here, I can go to Information Reference Viewer, and we can see that. Again, which one was it? Let me say Display Full Path, Protrusion ID 23997. You know, I'd look for that in the model tree. I guess it would be somewhere near the top, but somewhere in here, you can use the little filter to find it 
and then we have the feature and it's just a little feature in there i don't know so the best thing that you can do is that you can edit the definition of the feature to break the external references you want to do that with anything that's missing but let's say that it's not possible let's say that you can't figure it out you don't know what to do it's the end of the day you're about to go on to vacation and you just got to get this checked in so that you can go on with your life well here's what you can do instead let's go to the folder browser and go to my workspace this time i'm going to check my stuff in let me look for the top level assembly and hit the little check in icon we've got all our different objects let me hit the next button and if i check this box to auto resolve incomplete objects what it'll do is it'll look for an object on the server with the same name and then just ignore the fact that there's a missing reference well normally i use this option but i don't know if the objects on the server i'm just going to say always ignore ah, i can uncheck that i know i don't have anything checked out let's click the finish button and now we have step two of checking in hey and in the message area it tells me check-in succeeded all is good in the world i can see in my workspace that i've got all my different cad documents it also created the wt parts if you don't want to see the wt parts you can go to this drop down list and choose cad documents only and that way i can see how all these objects have been checked into windchill all is good in the world once again I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.